Hi everyone, welcome to another unboxing video. Um, I feel like it took forever to upload the video that I had recorded on um, Sunday, let's see, it was Sunday, January 7th that I finished recording the video and I tried to upload it on Monday, January 8th. Today is borderline um, January 11th, January 12th and it finally uploaded and um so i'm in the process right now of uploading um a video that i recorded yesterday or wednesday january 10th and um so today i'm gonna upload or today i'm gonna record uh, another video doing unboxing of more um things of more items for my um cup sleeve event and again, like I said, I'm trying to focus on like items from like big sellers right now to get those out of the way before I start unboxing items from, um, from like small businesses so I can properly shout out small businesses and I can properly, um, uh, leave reviews for small businesses and I can really take my time and that is just done a little harder on weekdays because I'm, I get tired and i um, getting ready for the next day to go to work and everything. So it's just a little bit harder to unbox things from individual sellers. I mean, I could try, um, depending on how tired I am, um, depending on how long, um, or how much I have to unbox right now from the bigger sellers. I also have some items that don't pertain to um, the cup sleeve event that I could possibly unbox as well. But um, I'll go ahead and just start off, like I said, with like the um, items from um, bigger name sellers. So go ahead and start with that. I know that was like a long intro. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I'm trying to like organize like the clutter that's going on in my brain and yeah so thank you guys so much for following along this journey with me uh, I'll start off with stuff that I ordered from Amazon like I usually do like I usually start off these videos I don't know if I previously mentioned but I really try not to order from Amazon but because these are like bigger items like that I need to buy in bulk to make sure I have enough for all fans or to buy them like on the cheap, I kind of relented and ended up giving in to Amazon. Also, I'm drinking the uh, Charged Lemonade from Panera. It's the Strawberry Mint Lemonade and... Um, I'm not sure if it even works because I just woke up from like a three hour nap, like not too long ago. So that's where I'm at right now. Oh, okay. So this is a candle. These are candles I have bought and they're tiny little candles. I didn't realize how small they were going to be. Um, and they smell good. I feel like these are like similar to the ones that I had bought on Timu. They're tiny little bear candles that I guess. I can give away as either prizes or freebies to fans. They're a lot tinier than I had thought. So that'll be interesting to see like the other ones that I had bought if they're a similar size or if they're smaller. So that's on one box or one mailer. And in this other mailer, let me see. I have a feeling that they're the same thing. And they are. So here are some more. I forgot how many they are. Um, but like on Timu, they were like a dollar. And here they're like about two dollars each. Um, so I would say like I'm on Timu really. They were like 10 for 20 bucks, I feel. And for the size and stuff, yeah, you could probably buy these. Well, either or, they're pretty comparable. The prices are pretty comparable, so I guess like either or is fine. But yeah, I thought that they were gonna be bigger, 
So I'm wondering if like the ones in the box that I have like in my living room are bigger sizes. I thought that they were, I'd never look at the size. I'm sorry. I'm so bad when it comes to dimensions when I order stuff online. So I just thought like, oh, okay, they're going to be like all the same size. But now I have like this big old box in my living room and I'm like, what could it be? I'm wondering if that's what it is. This is from Timu, and oh, I also ended up getting things for myself. It's so hard ordering on Timu and not getting stuff for myself because I keep seeing like a bunch of cute stuff. So this is a My Melody case that I found while I was shopping for this event. Um, I also got these key rings with bears on them that could be like little freebies. Uh, I got these smaller key rings with the bear with like the back I don't like because of my phobia. Um, yeah, so these are really cute. I don't know. I thought I got, well, they're gray. I thought they were going to look more like with black rhinestones to fit with like the event. But, I mean, when I wrap them up, I guess it's not going to matter. This, what is this? Oh, these are um, balloons. I'm going to put that in there. Balloons, more of the key rings with, like, the little fluff ball. And then these key rings with the rhinestone that I can possibly include as, like, little freebies. These key rings kill me because I have like a really bad phobia. What is it called? Like trypophobia, tripophobia. And I see like certain type of like holes. And um, I think it depends on really like the pattern, how like their pattern and, like freaks me out. Oh, I also got this pouch in Hello Kitty. So I like that. That was for me. Oh, and here is our more key rings. Oh, I like that one. It's in white. My mom's like, what are you going to do if there's like an excess of stuff? Like, what are you going to do with nobody shows up and you have like a lot of stuff? I guess I'll just worry about that when it happens, if it happens. Or just give some to like the employees of the boba store or the boba shop. And probably even to like my friend who's helping me with this stuff put together some of this stuff these kill me look at that Ooh. they're cute i'm sure that fans would love them i also went out shopping today and i'll probably do a haul of that as well if not now maybe later i need to start putting some of this stuff in my trunk because it's taking up a lot of room in my room Oh, and then I also got these ones. They're bigger. It has like an S on them, though. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> S. Uh. I don't know. Um, it would have been better if they were had like a K on them or a J. Maybe I can start putting these prizes together. This one's cute. I think it really goes well with the theme. This one I bought for myself, and it has an E on it. I just thought it was cute, but it's adorable. I bought it because it was pink, and that I bought one for myself. The team is so funny because like they do things without rhyme or reason. I really should have checked, and I should have bought one with a K or a J on it for fans. Um, S. I'm trying to think like S. What could it be? South Korea maybe? Who knows? Uh, I also got, let's see, what's inside this thing? The styrofoam. Oh, I think it's like a ashtray that I had gotten. I don't know. I like like the design. I thought it would probably look really nice with like our 
theme, but yeah. I mean, if you don't look closely, you wouldn't know that it's an ashtray, but I thought it looked cool. Um, I don't like that it's inside this big old thing. The styrofoam. Okay, so that is for that. And then this, oh, this goes on top of the ashtray. That's why I got it. Do I have to assemble it? So it goes like this. But I think I would have to assemble it. Let me see. Okay, so that's how it ends up looking. That is so cute. So I don't know what it could be used for, but I'm sure we can use it for something. Maybe to put stickers in there or something. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this, you guys. I really hope, like, the fans really appreciate, like, the thought and the care and the details that have gone into doing this. Like, I've enjoyed doing it. Like, I don't... Well, of course I want, like, some sort of recognition and stuff. But... I find a lot of joy in putting these things together and the details and having fun and so I just, I mean, I hope my work goes noticed and is appreciated, but like not in a way that uh, it's hard to explain. Like, I just peop hope people, like, notice, like, the things. Like, the small little details, I guess. Not so much of my for myself, but, like, I mean, putting my thought into it. Like, why I bought certain things. Like, oh, okay, that makes sense but why that's there. Because, you know, he's like a bear and all that stuff. So, I hope, I think that's my hope. Is that like it makes sense to people I guess that's what I'm trying to say like how, how every thought was meticulous and putting this stuff together this is um, another heart uh, I don't want to lose anything but it's another like uh, also from Timu it's another one of these like disco hearts um, like a disco ball and I tried so hard to like stop myself from buying this other disco thing it was like the um today I went to Burlington and this is like a uh kind of like a spoiler for my upcoming one about like the stuff that I bought actually physically in stores um but I went to Burlington Coat Factory well I don't think it's Burlington Coat Factory anymore but it's just Burlington and um i ended up buying or i ended up like finding this i guess like um disco balls are in right now and it look it was like a globe that you spin around but as a disco ball and it took every fiber of my being not to buy it i think i was like no it's like 15 bucks which you know i'm like it's a little bit over budget right now for a decoration and then the, here's like another heart it'd be so nice if they let the, us hang this stuff from like the ceiling or something because it has like the little hook this one's a little broken but that's fine oh my god i'm so excited you guys i see stuff like this i'm like oh, i can't wait to see it i think like the most time consuming part is probably going to be putting together like the raffle prizes. I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see how that turns out. So this I got, it's a store stone pattern piggy bank and I was going to maybe perhaps put donations in there. So we'll see. So that's what I had bought that for. If people are willing to put donations and all that stuff. So I think for right now that might be like the main items that I have bought in bulk um, as of right now um, like I said there is that big old box from Amazon that I have yet to open up and I really want to because I'm curious to see what it is I know it's candles that I have bought um, but 
I'm curious, like I said, to see how they look. Um, like debating, should I go grab that or should I open something else? Debating, what should I do? What should I do, you guys? Let me put this stuff away and then um, I'll try to see if like I can drag that stuff in here with me so I can open it up. Be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I decided not to open up the big old box of candles just yet um, because the Amazon package is just so way too big for me to bring into my room right now. Like, I really need to um, get rid of some stuff before, like, probably put some stuff in my trunk before I bring it in. So I figured, like, I'll just talk about like some of the bought the stuff that I bought in store and then um clear out my trunk and then bring in like the stuff from the Amazon the big Amazon bo box that I got which is like probably full of candles um but I don't know how much is just simply the candles or how much is um how much of it is just like packaging and stuff First of all, I went to Target the other day on January 2nd, Tuesday, January 2nd, and I ended up picking up a few things, not only for the cup sleeve event, but also for myself. Um, so like, for example, for myself, I just bought a pair of flats that I can wear to work. I forgot how much they were, like 12 bucks or something, but I like them because they're simple, they're black, they go with everything. Oh, they're 15 bucks, I apologize. 15 bucks, they go with everything. Um, and they have memory foam in them, and for cheap. I try not to spend a lot of money when I'm, you know, buying stuff for work, um, just because I feel like it's counterproductive to be paying for stuff for work, which, I'm supposed to be making money at work. I'd rather spend money on silly stuff, like my K-pop stuff, than spend money on work clothes and stuff. But I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me either. And I also ended up buying these cups from Spritz. They're wine glasses. They're about 20 and I didn't know like what I could use them for, but I like them because they're like sparkly and silvery and glittery. So, um, I can possibly use them for something. Um, so I'm gonna take those with me. And then these are probably like my most prized possession of what I bought at Target that day. And these are, uh, there's some more stuff that I got at Target, but only this stuff fit in my reusable bag. Um, these are like my Beyonce Renaissance boots that I bought to be able to wear at the cup sleeve event. They were the last pair. They're exactly my size, size six. Um, I forgot they're like about 40 bucks, I think the employee said, and I'm like, I don't even care. These go so well with my outfit. Um, they'll complete it, so I can't wait to wear them. And I got more stuff. Um, it's just in my trunk. I had to go get, pick it up later and then this I bought, it's a candle, it was like three bucks. Um, it was like after Christmas. So this is probably the only after Christmas thing I ended up buying because everything else was sold out. So now, um, today I, after therapy, I went shopping around town, um, afterwards to try to find like some stuff. At, my main goal today was to find poster frames, which I did end up finding at Target. They were 10 bucks each. Um, I'll try to take those out of my car and, um, show those off. It's, they're really basic ones. I was thinking about like whether I should buy like a bigger frame and stuff. And then I'm like, well, what if it doesn't fit on the tripod and you know, it's too heavy. So, um, I ended up just getting the $10 one and I ended up buying two of them, one for each tripod. So now I'm going to have to decide which posters to use, but those ones I'm going to, um, show off later. I'm just going to show off what I could fit in my hands. Um, bringing stuff back from inside the car. Let's see. 
So, um, first of all, let me, I went to Burlington Coat Factory, like I had mentioned, um, earlier, and I ended up finding this candle. It's like a holiday candle, but I feel like I can possibly use it on the table, um, like the setup where like all the freebies are going to be at. And it was $1.19 and I could just take off the happy holidays and just use like the candle and stuff. So, and I like it, it came with like a charm and everything. So I thought that was really cute for a dollar 19. And I also ended up getting this and I thought it would be perfect. This was $12.99. This would be perfect to put like the sunglasses in. Uh, so like the sunglasses tray. So, and then like replenish them once they get low in stock. So I'll probably put that with like the sunglasses. It's a good idea. Let me do that now. So, yeah. So I was just trying to find things for like um, the displays and everything. So I think that's perfect. That's going to go with um, the sunglasses. So I'll have to mark that. And then I noticed while I was like putting stuff away that um, there were there was another package from Timu, and so this there more bags with like bears on them that I could use as giveaways. And so I had like about three of these. Now, the next store, I'm not proud of going to, um, very controversial. I decided to go there because like I said, I was on the hunt for poster frames and I had, um, placed an order for Staples to, um, order more flyers for the event. And I placed it after therapy and my therapy appointment was at noon and um, I didn't want to run late. So I ended up putting in the order after my ther therapy appointment and they said, um, so my therapy appointment was over at one and Staples said that like the order of flyers would be avail available to pick up like around 4.30 and I knew like, oh, okay, it's probably going to be sooner than that but I had time to kill which they did uh call me sooner but in that I like was making my rounds like in a loop before I went to Staples so I ended up going first to this store um which I'm not proud of and then Burlington and then that's where I found like those items um that I just showed you but this first store very controversial I understand and I'm not proud of it but I did end up buying some stuff um so let's see where do I begin so I ended up buying these like rhinestone looking things they're just like I don't know filler I guess that I could use them for and they were $7.99, I guess. These are expensive just for this. Jeez. How do I even know? First of all, if you haven't figured it out, the store is Hobby Lobby. Not proud of it, but that's where I went. And then I also got these like plastic containers that I could possibly put stuff in. I don't know. And these were $1.99. And a dollar forty nine. So this one, oh, this is the dollar ninety nine one, and this is a dollar forty nine. And then I also got these, which is probably my most favorite thing that I ended up getting at Hobby Lobby, which were these things. I guess they're for like candles, but I feel felt like like I could put something on top of them, and it'll just like look nicer. So I got a small one and I got a larger one. And the small one was $3.59 and the bigger one was $5.99. So 
I was wondering what was like so expensive. I guess it was that, it was these one things right here. $7.99 for these. I might have to return them. They don't have like the fucking prices. This is how, how that store fucking gets you. Ugh. As if I'm not pissed off at myself for even going there. Now I'm pissed off that they swindled me for my money. Shame on you, Hobby Lobby. Shame on you. Put your damn prices on your items, please. You guys were able to do it here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to come back with another video to unbox that huge Amazon package and to continue um, going through like the things I bought from Target. But as of right now, I think that's going to be it. Um, I have been putting stuff, like I said, in boxes. So I need to, like I, I keep saying, I need to start putting some of these things in boxes inside my trunk so I can make more room for myself so I can actually move around in my own bedroom. Um, but as of right now, I think I might just start doing little like freebie items, packaging them, I think, and uh, hopefully clear up some space and then I'm going to go outside in my trunk, grab like the rest of the stuff that I bought like switch switch it so I can unbox everything I know I'm just talking out loud right now I don't even know if this will make it into the video but thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate you guys love you guys thank you so much take care